Hallelujah. Amen and amen, brothers and sisters. I have a word from the Lord for you. And it is a simple word. And it is to this effect, wanted in the body of Yeshua, wanted, urgently wanted, the oil of joy and the garment of praise. Brothers and sisters, this message is for everyone who is suffering grief and sorrow, who is feeling lonely, who is feeling dejected, who is listless in your spirit, man, you are listless, your soul is just heavy and you can't move. The Lord is saying, what do you need? Is the oil of joy and the garment of praise. I mean, Isaiah chapter 61 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord appointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the broken hearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, and that he might be glorified. Today, the Lord says you need the oil of joy. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Joy is also proof of being born again. The proof of a new nature is joy. And when you allow the Spirit of the Lord to do a work in us, and we are connected to the Lord, abiding in Him and He in us, the oil of the spirit of joy takes over our lives. That's why one of the things that David prayed for when he was backslidden was that the Lord restored him the joy of his salvation. Joy is a need. Joy is your strength. You know, Nehemiah said in the book of Nehemiah 8, the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you have joy, you have strength because the glory of the Lord is in you. It radiates from within your soul. It radiates to touch the lives of people around you. The joy of the Lord is our strength. When you have joyful heart, you can face any situation. You run through a troop. You leap over a wall. And the strength derived from the joy of the Lord will propel you forward. And I suggest to you, brothers and sisters, there's a need of joy. And how do we know? You see a lot of brethren carrying long faces, a lot of brethren worried, a lot of brethren anxious, a lot of brethren, you know, they are like they are, the whole world is upon their head, is crushing them, is crushing them, and they are not able to enjoy the effervescence of the spirit of grace inside of their lives. You need joy. Let me say this to you. One of the reasons why a lot of internal sicknesses are oppressing God's people is doors open through heaviness, doors open through sorrow, through sadness, through negativity. And the Lord says, if you want to defeat that issue, that sickness, that situation, that financial situation, hey, allow the oil of joy to flow in you. If you receive the oil of joy and the garment of praise, there are things that will dissipate. There are things that will just go off. You know what Isaiah said in Isaiah 12, verse 3? With joy, you shall draw from the wells of salvation. With joy, joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Salvation has many wells. The goodness of Elohim, they are in different wells. What will draw them out is joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Listen, in all thy getting, get the joy of the Lord. And when you get it, guard it with all diligence. Let no man take away your crown. Let no one take away your joy. When people are playing up and acting up, when people are doing their drama, don't allow your soul to connect. Because if you connect, the first victim will be your joy. It will puncture your soul and the joy will drain out. So you must learn to live above circumstances. Learn to live above the things that puncture your soul and bring sorrow and sadness. And part of them are things like unforgiveness. Once you have unforgiveness, you can never enjoy joy. 
One of them is ought. When you have ought in your heart against any human being, believer or unbeliever, it will affect your joy. One of them is coming to a place where, you know what, you, you, you count what people have done against you, you record them somewhere in your mind or in, on paper, in diary, you record them, that book, go and destroy it today because it is the thing that is destroying your joy. Delete it from your files, the files of your mind. Delete it from the files of your heart so that you can be free and free indeed. You need the oil of joy. You need the garment of praise. Hey, break into a dance, right? Right now, break into a dance. A dance will shake off the things that the enemy is coming against you. You are in the kitchen. You are in the living room. You are on the staircase. Listen, break into a dance by the spirit of grace upon your life. Let it begin to pop up. Let your spirit pop up. Connect with heaven because then the joy of the Lord is going to release strength in you. Strength in you. And the time comes, you begin to sow. I want to ask you today. How much do you treasure joy? If you treasure it, let go. Let go. The drama, let go. Let go. The things people have said against you, forgive them. Let go. Let go. Let go. Leave it with them and Elohim. Never pray a dangerous prayer against anybody. Just pray for people. Intercede for people. Remember Yeshua, the way he died? Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Remember Stephen? The faithful servant, what did he do in Acts chapter 7? Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. He released them. And because of that release, that's why Saul, who became Paul, was converted. Partly because of the investment of this young man, Stephen, when he was being killed. None of us has been killed yet. That people said the evil word against us. Why should we get angry, get offended, and Chase away the spirit of joy. Hey, listen to this. Joy and grief cannot stay in the same heart. Joy and sorrow cannot stay in the same heart. Just like grace and unforgiveness cannot stay in the same heart. Go read Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 13. And the Lord said, we must follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Elohim. Lest any root of bitterness spring off defile. If he has bitter, joy will go. Joy and bitterness cannot dwell in the same heart. Brothers and sisters, I want to say this to you. The joy of the Lord must be restored in your life. The garment of praise must be restored in your life, but you must yearn for it. You must desire it above all things and guard your heart with all diligence. Let no man penetrate your heart or your soul with negativity. And so the power of forgiveness, the power of letting go should become a normal part of your life. I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray that the Lord will give you the oil of joy, the garment of praise. You're going to dance again. You're going to dance again. I say it again. You will dance again. Somebody here listening to this message, you are going to dance again. And in the dancing, you're going to shake off everything that is not of the Lord that is trying to press against you. Father in heaven, so let it be. Let your grace move mightily. Let your grace inspire your people to reach forth to you and grab all the oil of joy you are releasing this moment. Grab the mantle, the garment of praise you are releasing this morning. That your people will dance again. Your people will smile again. Your people will rejoice again. Your people will begin to flow in the spirit. Let that grace begin to walk for those who believe right now. Thank you, Father. I bless your sins, both those who are here live now and those who listen later by the recording, who are going to replay it, it is well. We release this grace in Yeshua Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching and we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook, Monday all the way to Sunday every day by about 10.30 a.m. UK time and that's the same of Nigerian time and you, it's either Apostle George Monday to Friday uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace 
uh, Friday to Sunday. And then in the evening of Sunday, we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6, after 6, another one up to 7. So please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it. We also visit our website www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks. This course you just listened to, all these lessons, you know, there's an ebook we have free of charge. Everything we do is free. But more importantly, you can actually do your program on, you know, ebooks. You can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be, do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels this youtube gsom.tv and we also have a telegram channel gsom media you can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com we love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.